Hello, I am Bianca Basher. I'm a first grade teacher with Ori County Schools. Today we are going to be exploring Apple Classroom. It's a digital tool that teachers can use in their classroom to monitor their students working on their iPads. I'm gonna highlight some um, important features so you can get started with Apple Classroom. So let's get started. After you've downloaded the app, begin by launching Classroom. Then next, you're going to add a new class. So you can select the plus button on the screen in the middle or in the top corner. This screen shows all of my other classes that I have and you can have multiple classes in Apple Classroom. So I'm gonna click the plus. I'm going to give my class a name. And then I'm gonna select an icon for my class. You can even change the color of the icon and then you're gonna click done. The next thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to add students to your class. So you're going to open the classroom and you're gonna click invite students. And then you're gonna give your students the code on this screen to invite them into the classroom. Now I just want to um, make you aware that since you've manually created the class, you're going to your students' iPads are going to have to be in proximity to your iPad. And so what you'll do is your students will go into the settings app and on their own iPad. And under the um, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, uh, the classroom will pop up when it's in there. And then what they'll do is um, it'll say new class invitation and they're gonna click add first grade, which is the name of the class. And then they're gonna type in the code 7292. And they're gonna click add on their iPad screen. And then the students who have added themselves successfully to your class will pop up on your screen and then you're going to click the add button on your screen and then they will be added to your classroom. So I'm gonna um, add some more students to this class and then I'll come back and we'll um, get started with some of the features. Okay, so here we are. I have all of my students added into my classroom and once they are all added, you can see the list of students with their icons. At the top, you're gonna to see an action list of all the different features that Apple Classroom has. And I can also see um, underneath of that what each screen my student is on. So right now, all of my students are on their home screen. So, um, so in my actions list at the top, the first um, one is open. If I click open, I can send all of my students to a particular app on their iPads. And so if I want to send them to Seesaw, I can tap the Seesaw app and it's going to open Seesaw on all of their iPads automatically. If I wanted to actually see their screens, I can tap the screens icon at the top and it's going to show me what each of those students screens look like on their iPads, which is a really nice feature because sometimes I need to make sure that they're all on the same screen when I'm giving directions and that is very helpful. Another um, nice feature is um, the navigate. So I can click on navigate and if I want to send my students to a particular um, website in Safari, I always need to make sure that that site is saved into favorites here. And so I want to send them to Ori County Schools. So I click that and it's going to send them all to the Ori County Schools homepage. So you can send them to different websites too using the navigate. One nice feature also is the lock button. When I am trying to give my directions, my students, they really want to just get on and, and do the work right away and not really hear all of my directions. So one thing that um, is nice about lock is I can click the lock button and it's gonna lock all of my screens. And on the student screen, it's gonna show all that lock icon and it says this lock has been blocked by Mrs. Basher, which is a really nice feature. And then another thing that I can do as well is I, when I, once I'm ready for them to begin, I can unlock their screens by clicking the unlock button. 
So those are some um, really great features as well. Another one that I enjoy is if you just want to click on and see one particular student's screen, I can tap that student's screen and I can click view screen and it's gonna show me their screen really big. That will help me to help them navigate something from a distance. Um, also, I can lock individual students' screens so I could um, lock this one particular student screen by clicking that um, and it's going to just allow their screen to be locked. Um, and then I can also unlock it. Um, finally, I can send just individual students and by opening apps for them and navigating um, to certain websites for them as well. And then another feature is I can actually mute their iPad. So sometimes when kids' iPads get really loud in the classroom or they turn the volume all the way up and you need them to be quiet, you can mute them yourself. And so these are some really great features of Apple Classroom. I use it in my classroom every day and I hope this video helped you so that you could begin to use Apple Classroom in your classroom as well. So again, that's how you can use Apple Classroom to help manage your student devices in your classroom. There are so many other features, so I hope you um, enjoy and get started using Apple Classroom. And please um, subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.